CompTIA Network Plus N10-009 Practice Exam. Questions 36 through 40. This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 36. A company wants to allow multiple internal devices to share a single public IP address when accessing the internet. Which of the following technologies should be implemented? The answer is C. Port address translation. Port address translation is a form of network address translation that enables multiple devices on a private network to share a single public IP address by assigning unique port numbers to each session. This method allows organizations to optimize the use of limited public IP addresses while maintaining connectivity for all internal users. Port address translation is commonly implemented on a perimeter router, translating internal private IP addresses into a single public facing IP address. Question 37. A university is upgrading its campus-wide wireless network to support a large number of students and staff using multiple devices. Which of the following 802.11 standards would best improve performance and coverage in this high-density environment? The answer is B. 802.11ax. The 802.11ax standard, also known as Wi-Fi 6, is designed to handle high-density environments by improving network efficiency and capacity. It introduces features like orthogonal frequency division, multiple access, and basic service set coloring, which enhance performance in congested areas such as universities, stadiums, and office buildings. Additionally, 802.11ax operates on both the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, providing better range and throughput compared to previous Wi-Fi standards. Question 38. A network administrator is troubleshooting excessive network congestion and finds that a large amount of traffic is being sent to all devices in a subnet. Which of the following traffic types is most likely causing this issue? The answer is B. Broadcast. Within a subnet, broadcast traffic is sent to all devices, ensuring that essential communications reach every node. This is commonly used for functions such as address resolution, service advertisements, and legacy network protocols that rely on broad visibility. While effective for reaching multiple devices simultaneously, excessive broadcast traffic can cause network congestion, which is why segmentation techniques like VLANs are often implemented to limit its volume and impact. Question 39. A company is implementing a secure file transfer system and wants to ensure that data is encrypted before being transmitted over the network. Which OSI model layer is responsible for handling end-to-end -end encryption in this scenario? The answer is A. Presentation. The presentation layer is responsible for data encryption, decryption, compression, and format translation. It ensures that plain text data is encoded into a secure format before transmission and properly decoded upon reception. In addition to encryption, this layer also handles character encoding differences between systems ensuring that data is properly formatted regardless of the platform or software used. Question 40. A security analyst is investigating unusual data transfers between an internal server and external hosts. The analyst wants to inspect the actual packet contents for signs of data exfiltration in real time without disrupting network traffic. Which of the following methods would provide the necessary visibility? The answer is D. Port mirroring. Port mirroring allows network administrators to duplicate traffic from one or more switch ports and send it to a monitoring device, such as an intrusion detection system or packet analyzer. This enables detailed inspection of data content, including packet payloads, making it an essential tool for monitoring network security and troubleshooting issues. So, did any of these questions make you go? Huh? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you're always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.